Okay, so other than that awful temperature outside that I have to walk to work in in, in like five minutes, um, I have some good news and I have some bad news. The good news is that I'm not really that upset about the bad news and I it's an easy fix, so it's whatever. But the bad news is See this? See this right here? This uh, Canon 11 to 22 millimeter wide lens that I told you guys I wanted for my camera because I wanted that extra wideness. Well, I ordered it on Wednesday of this week and it came on Thursday, which was yesterday, which was actually really cool. I was like, wow, that was like some really fast shipping because I didn't pay for overnight shipping or anything. It just kind of came the next day, which which is cool. That's fine. But the the whole part of bad news that I'm trying to talk about here is this is broken. This doesn't work. It, it does not work. The entire focusing mechanism or whatever inside of this lens is completely shot. Does not does not work at all. Manual or auto. It's like when I first put it on the camera, it worked for like maybe five minutes, and then it went out after I shut the camera off and turned it back on and then it never came back. I've, I've tried every setting, I've tried every, literally everything I could do. I updated the firmware on my, on my camera. I've, I've done everything that I've been able to find to do and everything that you guys have suggested for me to do and it, it's just, it's dead. It's a, it's a lemon, it's a lost cause, it's a goner and that kind of sucks because now I have to send it back and wait for another one which probably won't come in one day like this one did <laughs> but yeah I'm not I'm not I'm not really happy about this this it bums me out just a uh just sent that lens back. You know, I think the thing that disappointed me the most about that entire situation was the fact that like, when I put the lens on the camera for the first time, it looked so good when it actually worked for like the five seconds that it worked. It looked amazing. It just looked so good. It was everything that I wanted it to be and then it just, it all went downhill from there. I'm gonna get another one and I'm gonna be a little more more careful this time. I guess what I mean by careful is I did order the lens through eBay, which I know a lot of people don't agree with that, but the reason I did is because almost every large purchase I've ever made, I've ordered through eBay. I've ordered all my phones through eBay. You just get such good deals and 99% of the time, you get the quality of whatever it is you're ordering too, but this time it didn't happen. I guess with all the times that I've ordered through eBay, I'm bound to get a, a bad transaction, so. So I know that wasn't the most exciting video. Didn't really plan on it being one. Just kind of wanted to share with you my, my nightmare of a crappy situation with buying a new lens. I was, all, I was all pumped up about it. New lens, first new lens. Getting excited about it. I'm still gonna get it. I'm, I'm gonna order another one but I am gonna be a little more cautious this time. I might actually just go ahead and buy it from Canon because it's actually the same price right now on sale on Canon's website that, it, that I bought it on eBay for, so I'm probably just gonna do that. I hope you enjoyed this one either way. It's a crappy situation, but I'm, 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 I'm staying positive. You know, you know, I gotta stay positive. So if you like this one, you know the drill. You know, you know all that stuff. Leave, leave me a comment, hit that like button, subscribe. Leave me a comment, let me know if anything like this has ever happened to you. That'd be cool. Subscribe if you haven't already, if you feel like being a dude. And I'll, uh, I'll see you in the next one. Maybe it'll be on a new lens. That'd be kind of cool, right? Yeah. All right, I'm done talking now. See you later.